Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be going over the process of importing training and course data into your SkyPrep platform. There are two ways to import course data. You can use a CSV file or you can go through the API. For the CSV method, please ensure that the courses are in the platform before attempting the import. The courses do not need to actually contain any material. Just an empty course will work although we recommend disabling the course active setting if doing this. To get started with a CSV import, click on People, then on Users. On this page, click on Bulk User Management, followed by the Update Prefilled tab. Navigate over to CSV Bulk Update Template and download the Excel spreadsheet. To import your user's course progresses, you will need to add additional columns. Go ahead and add Course 1, Course 1 Status, Course 1 date started, Course 1 date finished, and Course 1 expiration date. In the Course 1 column, enter the name of the course that you want to create a record for. In Course 1 status, enter the status of the user in that course. This can be either passed, failed, not enrolled, not started, or not applicable. Not applicable is used to unenroll a user from a course that they would otherwise be enrolled in such as through a group or learning path that they are a part of. Under Course 1 Date Started, enter the date that the user began the course in date, month, year format. While not mandatory, we recommend doing this for users that are passed, failed, or in progress. Under Course 1 Date Finished, enter the date that the user finished the course in the same date format as before. Again, while this is not mandatory, we recommend doing this for users that have passed or failed. Lastly, Course 1 Expiration Date will let you set the date that the user is re-enrolled in the course. This is useful for recurring courses such as compliance training that requires users to complete it on an ongoing basis. For more information about recurring training, take a look at the video linked in the description below. Continue doing this for the rest of the courses, but label them Course 2, Course 3, and so on. Once you've made the changes that you want, save the document, Go back to the Bulk User Update page and click Choose File. Select a file you just finished and click Update Users. Once that's done, all the course data will be saved to the respective learner accounts. Now let's cover the process of importing data via the API. Just like before, you will first need to create the courses. However, you don't need to manually create them and you can rely on the API calls instead. To do this, use the Create Course API call to create your courses. Next, use the Create User call to create your users. The user details are handled by additional parameters that can be found in our API documentation. Use the Get Course Progress call and pass in the user and the course, and finally, use the Update Course Progress call to set the user's course progresses. This covers both of our data import methods, and if you have any additional questions, you can contact your account manager for more assistance or use the Help Resources button at the bottom of your screen.